All right, so it does look like we have something that we need to talk about today. So I'm sure everyone remembers the time that Sharp claimed that Drake gave him a shout out in his Kendrick Lamar diss when he was going back and forth in the beef with Kendrick Lamar. Sharp believed with his whole heart that Drake gave him a shout out. I think that's why Drake shouted me out in this new track. I see and, I, and I appreciate it. What you know say? what I'm saying? Much love to him, man. Remember he said, I gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it was the lyric, I think it was. He said, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was he. You feel me? And Sharp claimed that this was about him and people just relentlessly laughed in Sharp's face. (laughs) As this was an idiotically ridiculous thing to claim. And so I want to talk about this because it does appear that we have actual confirmation from the Canadian rapper himself. Drake has officially responded. And this came from none other than Adam 16, the disgraced podcaster from Nashua, New Hampshire Shire. And so what happened was the 16 actually finally DM'd Drake and asked him straight up, did you shout out the P? And Drake responded with no. What? And so uh, this is the 16's uh, screenshot that he shared on Instagram of him DMing Drake. And the DM starts out with a lie. So it says, yo, so there's this dude who did podcasts on No Jumper for a while. Some dude who did podcasts on No Jumper for a while. Okay, don't you mean the guy that you were paying a salary to pay his rent and everything and you were like begging him to move to LA because he was such a central staple of No Jumper? This is a lie. Why are you lying to Drake? That is low. Uh, So it says, uh, and he's been convinced that when you said talking to a minor, that N-word's got to be sharp, that you were shouting him out. So he's like, okay, so this is actually uh, accurate. And it says, all of us told him it was insane, but he's been talking about it for like six months. So I was wondering if you could just confirm it. And then he sends a photo of Sharp for photo confirmation, like a photo lineup and says, this guy. And that was, I mean, he's just going out of his way to belittle this former No Jumper P. And I think this is deliberate. I think that, I mean, anyone, if uh, if Drake is aware of what's going on at No Jumper, then he's aware of what's going on with Sharp Rob. So this is a troll, okay? And he says, ha ha ha, why the fuck would I respond in this serious ass moment to shout out that guy? Okay, so he did not shout out the what? P. But everyone already knew this. So the question is, why would the 16 do this? And why would he do this now? And apparently Sharp requested that the 16 do this for him to put this to rest many months ago. But the 16 refused. So why now? And I asked you, hey, could you find out so we could just debunk this shit? And I ain't got to even roll. I don't even roll with that narrative. Hey, ask Drake if he shouted me out in that. Do you know Adam never responded to me? I will show the text, though. So what I've come up with is that the 16 of Nashua did not want to DM Drake and ask him this before because Sharp was affiliated and was a major staple of No Chumper at the time. So the 16 didn't want to DM Drake and bring attention to this and embarrass Sharp, therefore embarrass No Jumper. But now that Sharp is separated from No Jumper and everyone at No Jumper is making fun of Sharp and exposing him uh, and, you know, saying mean things about him, now it's cool to, you know, pretend like you don't know who he is and be like, hey, this guy, some guy uh, thinks he knows you. So it's a cheap move from a cheap cuck. And uh, so there you have it. Drake says that he did not shout out Sharp Rob. And I think, and a lot of other people think, that Drake was simply, the B-sharp line was uh, referencing The Simpsons, something he has done in the past. He actually named his mixtape he had with Future. What was it called? It's a great time to be alive. That's actually a Simpson quote. What? So I think it's safe to presume that at this point, Sharp Rob has been ruled out. We can probably go ahead and and assume that this uh, B Sharp reference was about The Simpsons, or maybe it was about nothing at all. Who knows? But I'll tell you this: Sharp is not happy when he got when this got back to Sharp, and when it was confirmed, and when the 16 did this after Sharp left just to humiliate him and everything else, and and Drake was in on the joke. Sharp was fucking furious and he denounced his fanhood he used to be drake's number one fan he was uh he said that drake was his favorite artist of all time the 37 year old mac daddy from las vegas nevada it was his favorite it was his number one fan but not for long because that's over he's not a fan anymore he actually took you guys remember the drake shrine 
He took the Drake shrine down. He put the Drake shrine in the fucking toilet. And the toilet looks immaculate, by the way. Have you opened the toilet? It says, Jerk! So he wiped the toilet down to take to stuff these fucking things in there and take this picture. Okay. But I'll tell you this. Uh, he better be serious because if I see these in another... Basically what I'm saying is he better have thrown these away. He better have immediately discarded these into the outside dumpster immediately if i if if he if if i see these ever again these pictures if this was some sort of uh joke or skit and he's gonna put these pictures up back up on his wall i'm gonna have i'll tell you this right now we're gonna have a, a huge problem do you understand and i don't know what i mean so sharp is like just doing his own thing now he's doing numbers he's getting chilly he doesn't need no jumper, okay? He's got uh, Dijon Paul shouting him out and whatnot. That, uh, Dijon, I believe, posted saying that, you know, Sharp top five podcasters on the West Coast. You know, report card for the, you know, West Coast podcasters. Shit, man, if I fall in the top five, hell, if I fall in the top ten, shit, it's an honor. Wow, so it's looking like we may see a Sharp Rob and Dijon Mustard Paul collaboration in the future after all. Wouldn't that be something? And I want to say this, Drake is a walking L at this point. Ever since uh, Kendrick laid his career to rest. No one cares about Drake. This isn't a big look anymore. It's time to move on and be a fan of someone else. Maybe go back to Usher. Could you guys imagine an Usher shrine? What? That would be fucking sick. Who thinks Sharp should become obsessed with Usher now for his newest teen bop idol? I think that's a fantastic idea. Usher's been in the news lately too, so that's even more relevant. Drake is a fucking has-been at this point, all right? So with that, best of luck to you and Dijon, and uh, this is you guys covering Burn by Usher. Take it away. It's gonna burn for me to say this, but it's coming from my heart. It's been a long time coming, but we done been fell apart. I really wanna work this out, but I don't think you're gonna change. I do, but you don't think it's best we go our separate ways. Tell me why. We should stay in this relationship When I'm hurting, baby I ain't happy, baby Plus there's so many other things I gotta deal with I think that you should let, let it burn. burn When your feeling ain't the same in your body Don't want you, but you, but you know Gotta let it go Cause, Cause the, the party ain't Jumping like it used oh, to Even though this might bruise you Let it you. burn Let it burn Gotta let it burn Deep down you know it's best for yourself But you hate the thought of it being with someone else But you know that it's over 